Greetings friends, welcome to our channel Code Chef. Today we are going to solve the problem Coins and Triangle. The problem code is T R I T O I N. The difficulty level is Cakewalk. There is only one prerequisite which is binary search. So let's move to the problem statement. Chef bought n gold coins. Chef wants to arrange them in the form of a triangle. He puts one coin in the first row, two coins in the second row, three in the third row, and so on. Now, Chef totally has n coins and he wants to make a triangle with maximum possible height. What we have to do is report what is the maximum possible height. So, let us try to understand the problem with the help of a few samples. Consider that there are three test cases. And in the first test case, n equal to 3. Now, if the chef wants to arrange coins, in the first row he'll have 1 coin, in the second row 2, third row 3, fourth row 4. So, in total, if he wants to make a triangle of size of height 1, he needs 1 coin. If he needs to make a triangle of height 2, he needs 1 plus 2 coin. If he needs to make a triangle of size 3, 1 plus 2 plus 3, which is 6 coins. And for 4, he needs 10 coins. Now, if the chef has three coins, what's the maximum height triangle that he can make? It's two. And if the chef has five coins, what is the maximum height triangle that he can make? It's still two. And if the chef has seven coins, what's the maximum height triangle he can make? Using six coins, he can make a triangle of height three. So let us have a look at the constraints of this problem. There are two subtasks. In the first subtask, sub value of n is up to 10 to the power 5 and in the second the value of n is up to 10 to the power 9. So let us move to the solution. But before moving to the solution, I would like to ask you to pause the video here and think about the solution on your own. We can have one coin in the first row, two in the second, three in the third and so on. So consider how many coins do we need if we need to make a triangle of n rows. It is 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on up to n. So there is a mathematical formula which states that the sum of first n natural numbers is going to be n into n plus 1 by 2. I have written here a short proof so that we can have a look. Consider s of n to be the sum of first n natural numbers. We reverse the expression for s of n so that s of n becomes n plus n minus 1 and so on up to n, up to 1. Now we add these two equations. 1 gets added with n, 2 gets added with n minus 1 and so on and n gets added with 1. 1 plus n is equal to n plus 1. 2 plus n minus 1 is also equal to n plus 1. 3 plus n minus 2 is also equal to n plus 1 and so on. And how many terms do we have in total? We have n terms in total. So 2 times s of n becomes equal to n times n plus 1. So s of n becomes equal to n times n plus 1 by 2. So the total number of coins required to make a triangle of height n will be equal to n times n plus 1 by 2. So let us consider that there are h rows. And the total number of coins that we have is n. Now we need to find the maximum possible value of h such that h times h plus 1 by 2 is still lesser than or equal to n. How can we find this value of h? What we can do is iterate from 1 and continue iterating as long as we get that h times h plus 1 is lesser than or equal to n. The moment we get h times h plus 1 by 2 is greater than n, we stop our iteration. We report that the maximum value of h is the previous value. So what is the time complexity of this approach? The time complexity of this approach is approximately O of root n. And since n was at max 10 to the power 9, O of root n would reach somewhat close to uh, 3 times 10 to the power 4. But there can be multiple test cases in this particular problem. And for this particular problem, the maximum limit of test cases was 100. So the total time complexity would be O times number of test cases into root n. And this value can be at most 3 times 10 to the power 6. 
we can write this solution and most probably this solution would get accepted because 3 times 10 to the power 6 will be under our time limit. But I would like to show an another approach which can work for even larger values of n. And this approach uses the concept of binary search. In this problem, we can apply binary search to find the maximum value of h such that h times h plus 1 by 2 will be lesser than or equal to n. I would like to explain this approach with the help of an example. Let us consider that the value of n is 12. Then it's possible to make a triangle of height 1. It's also possible to make a triangle of height 2. Also possible to make it for 3 and for 4. But for a triangle of height 5, 5 times 5 plus 1 which is 6 by 2. This thing is equal to 15. And 15 is not lesser than or equal to 12. So for a value of 5, it's not possible to make a triangle. And it's possible to make a triangle for height of 1, 2, 3 and 4. And any value after 5 will also not be possible. Because the value of n times n plus 1 by 2 is an increasing function and it will increase. There is one particular value which is the maximum value where h times h plus 1 by 2 will be lesser than or equal to h. And we can find this maximum value with the help of binary search. Since binary search was a prerequisite for this problem, we can start coding. But before we start coding, let us have a look at what is the time complexity of this binary search approach. We still need to iterate over all the test cases, but the solution for each test case can be found in log of n because binary search operates in time of log of n. So the total time complexity would be o, o, o of p times log of n. So let's start coding. Firstly, we have to take the number of test cases as our input. After which, we have to take the number of coins as our input. Let the number of coins be n. Now we have to apply binary search. We can use any implementation of binary search. So this is my implementation of binary search. I will have two variables L and R. L can be 1 and R can be at max 1 E5. After which, I will iterate while L is lesser than or equal to R. I will say that mid value is equal to L plus R minus L by 2. After which, I will write a check function which will check whether H into H plus 1 by 2 is lesser than or equal to N or not. So if check of mid comma n it would require two parameters which is mid and n then it means that this value of mid is possible so i'm going to update my answer of so i'm going to update my answer by mid and then the value of l will be equal to mid plus 1 else the value of r will be equal to mid minus 1. After this loop is over, the answer would be the solution. Now we need to write a function check. So here I am writing a function check which takes two parameters. One is mid and other is n. Now all that it has to check is whether mid times mid plus 1 by 2 is lesser than or equal to n or not. After that we can return it. So let's try to run our solution. So our solution passed on the sample test cases. So let's try to submit our solution now. So our solution got accepted. Let us summarize our solution once. So we have taken the number of coins as the input. 
we claim that the maximum number of rows that po that's possible for n lesser than or equal to 10 to the power 9 because 10 to the power 9 was our max limit of n is of the order 1 e5 it, it won't be greater than this particular number after that we have applied a simple binary search and in binary search in order to check whether a particular value is possible or not we are checking whether h into h plus 1 by 2 is lesser than or equal to n or not and finally we return our solution Thank you. Like the video if you understood the problem and its solution. In case of any doubt, feel free to drop a comment below. Do try to submit your own solution on CodeChef after understanding the tutorial. If you are interested in competitive programming or you want to master data structures and algorithm, CodeChef is the one place destination for you. We post many competitive programming concepts and problem solving questions on our channel every week. To stay notified of the upcoming uploads, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Thank you.